it's back to school time, and that means we need an apple for the teacher. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know, and if you did, thank you so much for coming back. So I start with an, a regular mason jar, and I take the lid off. Here's our mason jar. Now I'm going to use just as just chalk paint, cheapo chalk paint from Michael's, and I'm going, I started by doing painting it with a brush and I'm just doing all of the sides and the ridge where the um, lid goes. I started doing it this way but you know how I can't stand the brush strokes. Look at the brush strokes. I can see them all over. <sighs> Love me through it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it would have been fine, but I couldn't leave it. So I went and used my dauber and went over the entirety of the jar with my dauber. There it is. Now, I didn't do the bottom of the jar. And if you have been around on my page long enough, you know that that's a little bit of a hack I use when I am painting jars or tumblers or whatever. Is So I paint the entirety of the jar and then I leave the bottom. So that is a stabilizer. Oh, before I forget, if you see little bubbles all the time when you're doing your daubing, I use a heat gun and it pops all the bubbles. Isn't that crazy? It's wild. All right. So here back to what I was talking about. See how I left it and that so that way you can actually put your jar down and not have to, you know, get your hands all messy or you don't mess up what you've already painted. That's just a suggestion. That's what I do. Then I use some multi-surface paint and I'm using it on the mason ring. Um, and I originally started with the brushing. I did one coat brushing it on. And then um, I'm going to do a second coat with using the dauber. Now, you'll see me holding it here. It takes me a minute. Listen, sometimes it takes a few minutes for my brain cells to start firing together. <laughs> Love me through that too. It's fine. But later I figured out if you put your fingers inside the ring and kind of push them, you know, like you kind of pull your fingers apart, you could actually do it without getting your hands all nasty and messing up what you've already done. But I'm sure there's other ways to do this. And if you know them, tell me in the comments because, you know, I'm always up for a, a, a tip or a hack. But there you go. So, and as I mentioned, I'm just doing a dauber because I don't like brush strokes. If you like the brush strokes, move forward smartly, friends. All right. So then I printed these cute little sayings out and it's awesome to the core and I appreciate you to the core or what was some, I, I can't remember the other one. But anyways, um, they're all puns for apples and they're in the shape of leaves. I popped a little hole in them and that was on cardstock, by the way. So once everything's dry, I put the lid back on. Now you could leave it just like this. I mean, cute as a button, right? Agreed. But I put those little leaves that we had printed, I put them on some jute. I did two of them on the jute and then I tied it to our jar, kind of arranged the leaves so that they look like apple leaves. Um, and I'm just going to say quit it right now. Look at how cute that is. Are you kidding me? Then I added some pencils and stop it right now. What? <laughs> Look at how cute. I love it. I'm going to put this on my desk. Yes, I made some little wormies out of clothespins. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I made those. But how cute is this? This would be adorable for any teacher, any student, any desk. I don't care if you're a homeschooler, better still. <laughs> Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. And I hope this inspires you.